So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then, Leicester against Arsenal. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. We have already started here. It's going after it. Can he score? Arsenal are having a tough week. It is a crazy schedule for them. Yeah, it's a tough spell and guarding against fatigue for the player. Can he finish? A poor kick by the keeper, being intercept, Fardy! And out to safety, and it's Loftus-Cheek. So what now? Pushes it out wide. And here comes the corner. Now, can anyone get on the end of it? First half success with a, another show of strength. Leicester in control at half time, 2 0. Costa! And more, and more, and more. And they are cruising away. Czech reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. 
But that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. He's made it free, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Leicester take a three-goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Barty spreads it wide, shoots! He scores! And they are pulling still further away. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Leicester tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Vardy is being picked on here. Well, better late than never, Peter. Vardy with the challenge and he has given away a free kick <laughs> Arsenal uh, keeping their men at arm's length here yeah I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard for changes on both sides actually and shoots they've scored a contest no more it is nothing short of utter humiliation listen when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference why he's off Leicester totally rampant here. Vardy played out to the wing. That's a throw. Arsenal making consecutive changes here. Saul. Tura. Tries to get it forward quickly. In with a header! Oh, denied at the last. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Panucci. Loftus cheek. Official showing that there will be th shoots. So, and that is it. The referee has seen enough. Leicester were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. A comfortable win. Your final thoughts, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.
I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. And our live game is Leicester against Liverpool. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. So it's down to business here. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I would think Lucas Moura. Uh, once he gets into his dribbling stride... Shoots! It's in! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Leicester take the early advantage. Tevez. Leicester have taken 15 points from the last 15 available. And it's Fardy. Chance! It's a loose ball. Leicester are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. It has a hit! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Loftus cheek. It's Costa! And he comes up trumps again. Bakayoko. Rooney. And the Herrera. Passes it through. Looks like a good ball through. Now it's Herrera. Herrera pushes it out wide. Real Rooney with a shot! He has done it! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Liverpool grab the equaliser and we're all square. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. Massive leap! It's a goal! Into the lead once more. Great header, made it look easy. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Leicester get themselves into the lead. And the first half is done. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Well, it remains very delicately poised. And based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Leicester and into the half-time break. Great lead! Decent attempt, but... Not quite good enough. Oh, no, that was a chance. What a chance. Forward it goes. He's had a look. Herrera set up one goal so far. It's come loose. 
this defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. Shakes the shoots. Vardy! This man is special! And this is getting better and better. Leicester are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Leicester take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here because, for me, it's crying out for them to force the issue. Lobs it in gently. Liverpool have come to the defence of their manager after he came in for some stick regarding some of his decision-making. Look, some of the scrutiny is a bit over the top these days and you're damned if you do and damned if you don't, but he really didn't help himself. His decision-making was puzzling, to say the least. And the shot! And in it goes! Right back in the game! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Changes here from both sides, in fact. So he's got himself a goal, and now he gets himself an ovation on the way off. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution. He's shot a goal! A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. beyond doubt however they tried to stand in his way he just was not to be denied demonstrated great strength there I mean he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away and I think it's just top top play two up and very there is the final whistle Leicester did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Yeah, they had a game plan which was about hammering away in central positions and it paid off. For me, they were persistent and ruthless. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.
Ladies and gentlemen, we won. Thank you very much for your support.